All right, for this video, I want to show you how to make a rig like this. It's basically a, a lasso knot hair rigged pellet. Um, I caught my a new PB personal best yesterday on it, a 14 and a half pound carp, 6.6 uh, .6 kilos. Um, I like pellets. They, I've been had a lot of luck with them. Um, in the past, I was using a slip knot to tie on the pallet, which works, but once the pallet comes off or you want to change the bait, the rig is useless. There's no way to really put it back on. So this method is a lot better because I can rebate the pallet easily. And um, the only thing problem I had with it is I was always having a hard time tying the knot. Also just remembering how to tie the knot when I'm on the bank. So um, there's quite a few videos showing how to tie a lasso knot. I finally came across a very good one where he demonstrates it with some neon line, fluorescent line that's much easier to see, but also just he shows a way to hold it and, and tie the knot. That's a hundred times easier and really easy to remember. Um, so for, this, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use a bright line so it's hopefully easier for you guys to see. Basically all you're gonna do is take the tag end, put it over your three fingers and um, around your little finger like that. And then make a loop around the top two fingers. Oops. I'm sitting behind a camera, so it's a little trickier than normal. At the angle I'm at. So I pull that up around my pinky, around the top two fingers. And then I just, that loop I created here with these top two fingers, I'm going to wrap that tag end around at least three times. You can go more. It doesn't have to be that strong. It's just to hold the pellet on. And with a little practice, you get pretty fast with this. It's really easy. You can do it without even looking. So there I go. Tighten it up. And now I have my lasso. All right. So uh, I'll walk through it one more time. Under the little finger with the tag end. Up around around the top two fingers. So you have that loop captured here and the tag end around that loop. I go three times, it's fine. Yeah, of course, on video, what can go wrong does go wrong. Start over. And I mean, you can use pallet bands, like I said. The only thing is um, those can break off. And if it's really clear water, it's just more for the fish to see. So this is a bit more stealthy. So there's my lasso one more time. All right, at this point, when I cut the tag end, I leave a little bit, maybe a couple millimeters. So there's something to grab if you have to uh, change the bait. Um, I'll usually cut tag ends. That's the last thing I do. So the next step is I like to put my pellets on before I put the hook on. So um, I've been using these. It's a top secret brand method feeder fruit. They, I've had a lot of luck with these. Um, I've tried recently some bigger pellets that were um, halibut flavored and nothing but it's been really difficult lately now that the weather's starting to slowly warm up the fish are getting more active so I just pull that around the pellet um, what I was doing is also adding a boilie you can add a pop-up boilie if you want um, not necessary but kind of just give some extra visual attractant at least or maybe some extra scent Next step is you want to put it your hook. Um, I go with a pretty small hook, but for the video, I'm going to use a big one. And from here, we're just going to tie our basic knotless knot. So for a knotless knot, it's really easy. We go through the back side, through the eye of the hook. 
I keep my hair short. So um, I pretty much put it right below the bend of the hook. I want it to sit about there. So what I do here is just grab that part of the hook and I start wrapping away from me a downward spiral. How many wraps is up to you? I get as many as I can until usually it's going to line up with the barb of the hook. I grab it with this free finger against my thumb and these fingers to just keep it, keep tension on it. Then the end goes right back through that back of the eye. Pull it tight. And now at this point you can go ahead and trim your tag end. You can do it before, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, I leave a little bit of a tag end to, um, that way it's easy to loosen up the lasso. It gives me some room and pull the bait out and now I can pop another one in if I have to. And then again, just pull it down tight. All right, so from this point, you can go ahead and tie a, a surgical loop knot at the top. Or um, you can use a hook aligner. I mean, even as is right now, especially if you wrap it enough at the shank of the hook, it works pretty good. It's um, The hook tends to want to turn and catch. It sits at a pretty good angle. Um, I bought some of these hook aligners. They're really cheap on eBay from China. So had one on yesterday. Why not? I've had luck with and without them. And that, you know, it's just this plastic rubber tube. You slide the line through. And you want to have it so this bend in it is facing towards the hook point. And you just slip it over the knotless knot. This is a heavy string gauge, so it's a little bit tighter, but it still works. Push it down as far as I can. That keeps the bait really close to the hook like that. And there you have it. <coughs> now to tie the loop end, it's also a very easy knot. You're going to make, just grab both ends like that, loop it around your finger. And then you just tie it both lines like that, like an overhand knot. But you go around twice. At this point, you want to wet the line to avoid friction, to make a weak spot, pull it tight, and there you have it. And of course, trim the tag end. So there you have it, the lasso knot pellet rig. Um, The length of your hair you can make as you like. I've had better luck keeping them pretty close to the hook. And of course with this lasso method any size, uh, if you want to change um, pallet size it's no problem. Um, of course you can buy pre-made pallet band rigs which if you saw one of my videos on that I will not use those ever again. I prefer to tie my own rigs. It's cheaper, I'm more confident in them and I, yeah, I, I have no, um, I'm, that's, I, I'm not worried about them falling apart and losing a fish as, as I would with some of these pre-made ones. And like I said, they're a lot cheaper. Um, you can modify this rig as I showed you before, you know, I put a mini boilie on it. Um, 
these mini boilies, I've had a few mixed in here, but the, they're actually these uh, Monster Crab by Browning. And they're pre-drilled, so you don't need a baiting needle, but I found most of the time the hole is non-existent or the line does not want to go through it. So I usually just keep a paper